You're watching NASA TV. Good morning. It's June 13th, 2024, and you're looking at a live view of two NASA astronauts inside the Quest airlock preparing for today's planned six and a half hour spacewalk. I'm NASA's Leah Cheshire, and we're live in the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, where teams are preparing for US EVA 90, or Spacewalk 90, which is the second spacewalk of the year. This is the content for US EVA RFG Retrieve 2.5. EV1 in red stripes egresses first with a crew lock bag followed by EV2 in white stripes. EV1 translates to the external stowage platform 2 and stows the bag while EV2 translates over the platform to the forward face. Both crew work to release several quarter turn fasteners on the multi-layer insulation tent over the radio frequency group. EV-1 moves underneath the platform to remove the covering. Then EV-1 visually inspects the radio frequency group and relocates the tool bag. Meanwhile, EV-2 takes a portable foot restraint and installs it onto the robotic arm. EV-2 ingresses the foot restraint and the arm moves to the next work site. The crew will work together to remove rubber applied to the bolts on the aft wedge clamps. Then using a ratchet wrench and a specially designed wrench, they will release the tension in the five clamps keeping the radio frequency group onto the stanchion. EV-2 will return to the forward face of the stowage platform, then release four structural bolts using the pistol grip tool. Next, EV-2 will slide the radio frequency group from the mounting plate. Then the arm will fly EV-2 over to the airlock. Meanwhile, EV-1 will translate to the airlock after opening the thermal cover, EV-1 will retrieve the microorganism's caddy and stow it externally on a handrail. EV-2 will reorient the radio frequency group and the two crew will stow it inside the airlock. Afterwards, EV-1 will close the thermal cover. Both crew will return to the external stowage platform to secure the multi-layer insulation covering over the stanchion. EV-1 will go back to the airlock as EV-2 retrieves the tool bag. EV-1 puts the microorganism handle and caddy on their mini workstation. Then, EV-1 translates under the U.S. laboratory to the vacuum exhaust system's vent. The first sample will be in open space, and the second will be a swab of the vent surface. EV-1 will then translate to the laboratory's carbon dioxide vent to sample that location. Next, EV-1 will return to the airlock to swab samples at various locations around the airlock hatch. While EV-1 performs the microorganism sampling, EV-2 will go to the zenith or top side of the external stowage platform. EV-2 will remove the multi-layer insulation covering a spare robotic arm joint. 
EV2 will release three of six fasteners using the pistol grip tool. Then EV2 will drive the joint's motor approximately 6 degrees. This prepares the joint if it's needed on a subsequent contingency EVA. After recovering the joint, EV2 takes the crew lock bag back to the airlock, where EV2 will replace some tethers in a bag. That completes the plan task for this EVA. Additionally, today the pair will collect samples for analysis to understand the ability of microorganisms to survive and reproduce on the exterior of the orbiting laboratory. This room is staffed 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Right now, the Orbit 2 shift is coming on console. These will be the flight controllers for the duration of today's spacewalk. There toward the bottom of your screen is NASA Flight Director Rebecca Wingfield. She'll be leading the teams in the room today. In the red shirt is Alex Kanalakos. He's the CAPCOM or the capsule communicator. He has been speaking with the astronauts as they prepare for the spacewalk, but he will turn over his communications Three, with two, one, the astronauts to ground IV Steve Bowen once they get closer to exiting the airlock. Copy seven. Looks like Matt Dominic is already practicing taking some pictures. Ground teams will often, af will often ask crew members to take photos of their work sites, uh, whether that leads to some help with troubleshooting or just documenting the state in which they uh, completed the work today. We are about 30 minutes behind the timeline today, so we expect the crew members to... Houston, Houston on one from the airlock. With you on one, Mike. Yeah, I'm going to uh, throw you a little bit of a curveball, and uh, we would like to ask for a PMC between the dock and EV2, if we could uh, privatize that comm. Okay, we'll make it happen. Stand by on the comm config. A call from Mike Barrett to the CAPCOM here on the ground discussing a PMC that's a private medical conference. Astronauts have the ability to speak to flight doctors uh, multiple times a week, and of course they are on call during strenuous activities like spacewalks. Hey, lock on one, go ahead. Hey, Jeanette, uh, I see you uh, removing many workstations. That's, that's fine. We are going to give you a procedure and step number to begin with uh, to configure ourselves to get out of the suit. So um, give us just a little bit so that we can all stay in sync. No problem. We're just cleaning up the airlock mini workstations and just put some uh, stuff back on the floor so we have some footrest. Understand. Again, this live view coming to you from the Quest airlock in the International Space Station. Spacewalkers Tracy Dyson and Matt Dominic were preparing for US EVA 90, Spacewalk 90 today. Uh, but today's spacewalk will not be proceeding as planned. The crew has begun taking off their suits. As you can see, Matt Dominic there in the foreground, his helmet is now off. Uh, they began taking these suits off about an hour before they were anticipated to exit the Quest airlock. We're standing by for more information and we will share as we learn that.
Here's a better view of the two spacewalkers. That's Matt Dominic on the left and Tracy Dyson with her helmet still on on the right. In the foreground, in the red, that's Sunita Williams, NASA astronaut who arrived on Boeing, NASA's Boeing crew flight test last week. We are live in the International Space Station Flight Control Room in Houston, Texas, where flight controllers were preparing for US EVA 9D. However, the spacewalk today with NASA astronauts Tracy Dyson and Matt Dominic will not be proceeding as scheduled due to a suit discomfort issue. The crew is now out of their suits. That happened about an hour before they were anticipated to exit the Quest airlock. We're standing by for more information and anticipate making those details available as they become known. You can check up on that throughout the day.